What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk through the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, who knows? So, in our last episode, we made another small detour to the Runes of Elf Part 2, got ourselves a few more good items and all that stuff, and now it is time for us to actually go into the Union Cave yet again, because, well, it holds a really, 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 really big secret. Now... When this is happening, guys, it has to be Friday in order for this to all work. Either way, you're gonna get something out of it. It's just, you know, Friday would be the most uh, would be the best day to do this. Now, you you need Surf in order to actually do this, and that is the wrong spot because, well, you can actually go through this whole little river banks right here. Make sure to bring a lot of repels too, because, well, you don't want to mess with any of these Pokemon, and well. Go down here, there might be a little riverbank right here. There might be a secret entrance. Yes, there is a secret entrance downstairs. Talk to this guy, and we're gonna be battling, okay? So we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, okay? It's not just battling, it's gonna be capturing too. So here we have a super nerd, or Pokemaniac, Andrew. And he's gonna be coming out with a Marowak. So this is a first, looking at a very, very tough Pokemon. I do not want po Togepi taking this Pokemon on, so let's go straight to Lucky. Let's go ahead and mess with this Pokemon right here. Okay. There we go. And here comes a Bone Club. That could have eliminated, uh... That could have eliminated our Togepi, and it could have hated us just a little bit more. And Lucky is getting... Yeah, Lucky's getting uh, hit with that Bone Club right there. Yeah, we're gonna be taking on some trainers that... Are quite even with our Pokemon right here, and that nearly defeats Marowak. So let's try this one more time, and here comes a Bone Club. Man, we're getting boned. We are getting boned. And well, there we go. Surf attack for the win. And Marowak has been defeated, and well, Togepi grows to level 26. I don't know how much love it has for us, it might not even evolve. And this guy's coming out with another Marowak, so let's go straight to the man, the myth, the legend, Chico. Now, it's been a while since I've seen you, Chico. It has. Alright, Chico. Do your thing. Finish off Marowak. Get your Razor Leaf going. That's right, this is our powerful Pokemon, Chico, from Chico State. And look at that, Marowak has been defeated by a critical hit. And there we go, more experience points for all of us, hooray for all of us. And yes, Andrew has been defeated, he's like, go, go away! Wow, he's super anti-social in it. God dang, it's about dang time. Wow, it took us a lot of steps, a lot of fights, and a lot of everything just to get this, guys. There it is, we got ourselves a Togetic. Finally! Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Togetic. Good God, it took you quite a bit to... Oh, Jesus. And it is a flying-type Pokemon now. This is great, and it can learn some pretty darn good moves. Which, you know what? Let's go ahead and teach it. Let's see. It has Nightmare. Yeah, we have Shadow Ball rear. Okay, so let's go right ahead and teach Shadow Ball to, uh, to Togepi right here. Alrighty, so you're learning another good move. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and get that Shadow Ball going. Let's go ahead... And take away charm. Okay, so that's that. And well, let's. You know what? It never really goes to the Pokedex entry. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Togepi's uh, entry is. Let's see. Where are you? If I miss, if I miss it, I'm sorry. Let's see. Where are you? Pineco, Ebra, Paris, Bellsprout. Hold on. Yeah, I cut most of Oh, there you are. Okay, so Togetic. The happiness Pokemon. Although it does not flap its wings very much, it can stay up in the air as it tags along after its trainer. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we got a nice team. We actually have a nice team going. And let's go ahead and surf right here. And we will be battling another trainer. This one right here... Yeah, this one right here is going to lead us straight to that uh, that stair right there. So, let's go right ahead and take on this guy who researches, who is actually very social, and he is coming out with a Kangaskhan. Good gravy. 
So is it fair if we're taking on a Kangaskhan and its baby? I am not going to use that. So let's go right ahead and... Da -da -da -da. Chico, Chico, Chico. Let's go with Chico right here. Alrighty, Chico. Time to do it. And here comes a Tail Whip attack. Not so effective. Feel bad for doing this, but here comes a Poison Powder. Just to make this a little quicker. And here comes a Mega Punch. Holy crud. And then, you know, Kangaskhan is a very... Very tanky Pokemon. Good luck trying to beat it. And well, let's go right ahead and go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. And this Razor Leaf is a, uh, well, it's not so great right here. Okay, so I guess my only choice is to go with Fury Cutter and then progress it from there. I probably should have just started with that. And here comes another Mega Punch. Good gravy. Yeah, that right there is going to hurt us in the long run. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's see, where are you? Super potions, you gotta love them. There we go. Okay, bring it on. Here comes another Mega Punch. This one hits us pretty hard too, and you are getting hurt by poison. Let's go right ahead and use a Reflect. There we go. Trying to lower that Mega Punch down just by half. And there we go. So we are not, yeah, we are not a fan of that Mega Punch anymore. Let's go straight for a Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf does it. There we go. And we get some experience points from everybody. And that's how you do it. Calvin Klein has been defeated. You demonstrated on me. Yes, I did. Okay. What do you have to say? I should compile and announce my uh, study findings. I might be, I might even become famous like Professor Elm. Hmm. That's a good, that's a good thing. Alrighty, so here we are in the very, very bottom of the Union Cave right here, guys. And this actually, we need to repel. This actually leads us to another, another point. If you come in here on Fridays, you will actually find a very special Pokemon at the very end. Just make sure that you have the right equipment and the right Pokemon because, well. You only get one of these guys. Okay, so we're using a repel. And we're gonna go ahead and grab as many items as possible because, well, who doesn't love free stuff? And, well, we've already filled up on our on our items right here. So, let's see. Crap baskets. Okay. You know what? Rare candy. We're gonna have to give that to somebody here. Let's give that to Lucky. There we go. And... PP up. What kind of move do I want? Up. Let's see. Do do any of my Pokemon have a move that I need uh, needed up? That's what she said. Mm, you know what? No, let's not do that. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use some potions. Heal up our Pokemon. You know, it's 20 HP. What else? What uh, what else can you count, ask for? Go and there you healed up, Lucky. So now we got three more potions to go. Chico needs some loving right here too. There we go, two, and here we go, three. So this, so this right here will actually fill up one more slot. So there you go, guys. We can found ourselves an elixir, a nice item, and well, let's go right ahead and take this surf right here. We will find some Pokemon trainers. We will find some items, as you guys can see. There we go. And, uh, actually, let's go ahead and use the item finder to see if there's, like, something that I'm not seeing right here. Nope, nothing right there. Okay, so, let us surf. And let's go right here first, because I kind of feel like that's the end of the line right there. And this guy sees us from that far away. He's like, there are two kinds of people. Those who have style, and those who don't. What kind of person are you? Well, in real life... I would say... I kind of don't have any style, because I wear the same stuff every day, but it's whatever! Alright, so here we go, taking on a Charmander. Alright, time to test out our good old buddy Togepi, and here's a smokescreen attack. Yeah, this Pokemon's trying to lower our accuracy, okay. Touché! Alright, let's go with the Metrono or a Swift attack right here, and oh my god. That right there is... Wow, are you serious? Okay. I've never been angrier at... I've never been angry at a Charmander until now. 
So, let's go straight to Lucky. Time to finish this Pokemon off. Yeah, time to make this Pokemon pay. Okay, so here comes an Ember Attack. Not so effective. There we go. And we're gonna Surf. And are you serious? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so here we go. Surf Attack is not making it. Come on! Jeebus criminy. This is getting out of control. This is getting annoying. So here we go. Surf Attack. Finally, eat it, Charmander. Eat it. And there you go. How about now? How about now? Okay, so that's a, a few experience points right there. This guy is literally going for the starters, so let's go straight for our Fire-type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. So, here's a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is looking pretty cool. Fantastic. And, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to go Ember Attack. Now, some of you guys are going to be wondering, okay, when am I going to bring in my other team and look at that, that shoes on the other foot, huh? When am I going to bring my other team from Pokemon Yellow? I am planning on doing that at the very at the very end where we're getting to Blackthorn City. That's when everything's going to be coming in. In the meantime, there are going to be some Pokemon that I've had in the past. They're going to get leveled up and they're going to be used for other purposes here in this game. Such as, like, maybe Legendary Capture Crew or something like that. That's what I was thinking. Um, if I have a Pokemon that I've, like, used in the past and has a very specific move to it that can actually benefit in capturing some Pokemon right here, yeah, it's going to make a feature. We're going to do, like, we're going to put in some work just to make sure we use a bunch of our Pokemon right here that we've already captured. Like I said, we're going to, we're going to definitely try, like, we're, we're going to try and incorporate but we're going to bring in all the Pokemon we've captured in every version that we have. That way, you know, it becomes a little bit more like an adventure. So, here we have in a Hyper Potion. Okay, that's always that's always great to actually have. And, well, I'll talk to this guy. He's like, your Pokemon style is stunning and colorful, I admit. You'll just keep getting better. Well, it's about damn somebody. Uh, time somebody, like, you know, acknowledges me. Shout out to Roman Reigns. So, here we go, we got one more person, and I think she has like some evolutions and stuff, so Togepi, you've done enough, you, 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 you need to take a back seat. Let's go with Serpentera, because, well, it's been a while. I'm training, uh, training. Care to, for a round? Sure. Alrighty, let's go. So, here we have cool trainer Gwen, and she's gonna be coming out with her Eevee. So I think she's the Evolution Trainer. Serpentera is looking pretty fantastic at the moment, and it does it is equipped with the it is equipped with the Quick Claw. So yes, look at that. Thanks to the Quick Claw, what normally would have been that Pokemon to attack us first, yeah, that happens. Okay, so let's go with a Headbutt right here. Damn you. Okay, so thankfully Serpentera does have a a very massive defense right there, and well. We're gonna keep on going with that, so here comes a quick attack again. And that is not effective. Here comes the headbutt attack. And just like that, evolution number one has been defeated. And well, let's see. She's coming out with a Vaporeon. Serpentaria is still somewhat weak to uh, to this po like to water type Pokemon, so we're just gonna switch it out. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go. Bluff Bolt, or yeah, whatever your name is. Here we go, Thunder Punch Attack for the win, and that will nearly defeat Vaporeon, and here comes a uh, Water Gun Attack. Okay, alrighty. That didn't really do much, and well, the next Pokemon up for evolution is Fluff Bolt, and then Chico, or the other way around. Either way, both these Pokemon are going to evolve, and well, from what it looks like, Fluffolt is going to evolve first, just because of its, um, just because of it, where it came from. So, let's go right ahead and take away this growl technique right here. And I think it would be a good time to actually teach Fluffolt another move right here. And well, let's see. Here comes a Flareon. Let's go right ahead and uh, do, 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 do. let's go with Lucky. All right, Lucky. Let's go. Alright, let's see what we got. 
Fluffold versus, or Lucky versus uh, Flareon right here. And we're not going to get a little too uh, fancy because look at that. Sand attack does its thing. So here comes a Surf attack. And there we go. Surf attack for the win. And wow, nearly defeats Flareon right there. So let's try it one more time with the Surf. Take this tackle attack or something like that. And that is how you do it. Alrighty, okay. So that's more experience points for Lucky. And we got one more Pokemon, and that is Jolteon. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for Serpentera yet again. Let's go, Serpentera. And, well, look at that. Jolteon is looking pretty fantastic. Now, if if I if it was up to me, I'd probably pick uh, Jolteon over over the Pokemon I have right now, but since I said native Pokemon, let's go with native Pokemon, and well, there's a Tail Whip attack right there. It did not work, so here comes Dig Attack from Serpentera, and there we go. How does it feel to fail? And yes, a buttload of experience points is needed. There we go, Serpentera. So we're, we're, we're definitely heading the, in the right direction, and she's like, I'm no good. <laughs> All right, talk to her. I'm going to train my by myself until I improve. All right, so we do have one more trainer that we have to deal with. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take this guy on right here. The repel's worn off, so that is, like, thankfully we have, like, two more repels, I think. Yeah, we have two more. Or no, we got three. Okay, so, all right. Everything's coming to uh, fruition, and there is one more trainer. If the Pokemon I like were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. True, that's true, that's kind of true. That's somewhat true. So, here we go, taking on Emma, and she is coming out with a Poliwhirl. So right now, right off the bat, I messed myself up right here. Yeah, let's go right ahead and go with Chico right here. Yeah, don't need this mess right now. So here we go, Chico, what's up? And here comes a rain dance. This actually will work. I did get a call from uh, Schoolboy Ellen. Rain dance actually does, uh, you know, does affect fire type Pokemon moves. It does weaken them. It should be, you know, it, it should only be logical right there. And who in the right mind would be using a fire type when rain dance is going on? I'll tell you who, Ellen. And well. There we go. We're getting more. Ex we're getting more of this and crap baskets. All right. So, yeah, we're 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 asleep. Come on. And we're fast asleep. Rainfall still falls. He's gonna double slap us. Maybe he might wake us up. I don't know. And still asleep. All right. Come on, Chico. Wake up. Here's another double slap. There's a bitch slap. There's a slap. And that's a critical hit. We woke up, and here comes the razor leaf. Time to eat these leaves. There we go. And just like that, Poliwhirl has been defeated. And bam. 28. Level 28. So we're getting closer to evolution's time right here. But I still think Fluffold's the one that's gonna, gonna evolve first right here. Just once a week, a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. I wanted to see that Pokemon. Hmm. Wonder what Pokemon that might be. So, here is the end game right here, guys. If you go here on Fridays, you will be able to find Lapras, and it's a one of a kind Pokemon. So, go right ahead and save the game. And just to make sure that you actually catch this guy, because it is a little bit hard to capture. And thankfully, you know, we kind of modified the days to where we can actually, like, get as many Pokeballs as we want. So, let's see. We're going to go with Fluvolt because that's logical. If I do switch out, it might be it. And here it is, a Lapras. Okay, so here she is, or here he, oh yeah, here she is, Lapras, aka Nessie. We're gonna do the logical thing and put the Thunder Wave on it. We're gonna try and paralyze it, trying to get this Pokemon right here. And here comes a Growl attack, which, uh, well, you know, it's it's gonna affect us, but it's it might actually help us right here, because Thunder Punch might make this Pokemon faint. And as you can see, it actually did help us a little bit. So now we're just gonna be going straight for a Tackle attack. 
Hopefully this Pokemon don't faint. There we go. Fully paralyzed. Let's go again. Tackle attack. And there we go. We're in the red. You can put us asleep all you want. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a... Okay, let's go right ahead and use a heavy ball because Lapras is pretty, is pretty heavy. And let's see what happens here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Throwing out the peace sign! We got ourselves Lapras. Okay! Well, would you look at that, guys. Lapras. The transport Pokemon, it does weigh uh, a, a nice amount. 485 pounds, yeah. This gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides. And it provides a, ver a, a, a very comfortable way to get around. Yes, we would love to nickname this Pokemon. Everybody, say hello again to Nessie. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Draven, we already know you're going to switch this Pokemon for Lucky. No, that is not the case, because I did say native Pokemon, and there is a Pokemon out there that I do want, that I will be using eventually, but not Nessie. Nessie's going to be uh, part of that, well, it's going to be part of the Pokemon that I will be leveling up as part of the adventure and all that stuff, since it was a part of my initial Pokemon Crystal series right here. And, well, that is pretty much it right there, guys. We have completed everything. There is a, another there is another entrance to the Union Cave that we didn't see. That right there leads to um I would like to say Yeah, that leads to the third entrance the third entrance of uh, the Ruins of Alf. But unfortunately we do not have the strength technique nor the badges or the special item or Pokemon to actually finish off this whole you know, to finish off this whole uh, puzzle. So we're gonna finish it off right here and not worry about any Pokemon right here. We're gonna get attacked right here. Nope, we're not. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about that until later on, guys. We're gonna be making our way back to Goldenrod. And uh, there is a specific place that I do wanna show you guys. And it might be where our good old buddy, our good old buddy, uh, what, what, what's it called? Uh, Fluffolt and, uh, and or. What's his face? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name. Chico might evolve. So, thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned. In the next episode, it's going to get a little funner. Um, if you guys want to make a donation right here to this channel to keep this thing going, yes, the heart bunch right there. Links in the description below. If you guys want to join and watch exclusive, uh, exclusive content like Pokemon Silver Walkthrough and all that stuff, I'm thinking Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire might be next. Sign up right here, and you will be able to watch the members-only kind of content. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.